Welcome, Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. On yet another video, we are going to discuss and answer the question, why does the testicles actually move up and down? Now, in order to answer this question, we have to understand why is the testis actually located outside the body in a structure called as the scrotal sac. And I would like to draw your attention to the image on the right hand side in the screen. And if you can see here in this image, what, what, I, what I'm trying to basically show to you here is that the testis is located in a structure called as the scrotal sac, also called the scrotum, which is located outside the body. And the scrotum is basically lined by what's called as the datos muscle or the datos fascia, which is a key muscle for regulating the temperature in the testicular region. Now, why is the testis outside? Because the fundamental ideology here is that when the testis is outside, the temperature regulation of the testis becomes easy and this is an evolutionary process. So in some animals like elephants, you will be surprised to know the testis are actually within the abdomen. Whereas in human beings, the testis is located outside the abdomen. And the reason probably is because human spermatozoa are extremely, extremely temperature sensitive. Now there have been studies which have been done as early as the 1990s and what they found is that even a 1 degree Celsius rise in the scrotal temperature or the testicular temperature translates to a 14% reduction in sperm concentration, sperm motility and other seven parameters. Apart from this, there is also a host of other molecular changes that takes place in the support cells of sperm production. So, the testis is basically made up, made up of seminiferous tubules that are lined by what is called as the Sertoli cell and interspreads among that is the Leydig cells. So even the Sertoli cell and Leydig cells which are basically support cells for sperm production also get damaged. Not just that, even the precursor cells to the mature spermatozoa that is the packetine spermatocytes, the spermatids, the germ cells which actually give rise to the spermatozoa go into what is called as an apoptotic pathway that is they go into a cell death pathway with increasing temperatures and this has been systematically studied and investigated not just in human models even in mice models and a host of animal models. So bearing that in mind, you now know how sensitive the temperature, how sensitive the testis can be to higher temperatures. So the reason the testis is outside the body is to maintain a 1.5 to maybe a 3 degree Celsius lower temperature than the core body temperature in order to aid optimal sperm production. So what happens, you know, if you are in a hot environment, say you have gone to a, you have gone to a nice sauna, you had a nice hot bath, what will basically happen is because of the higher temperature you are exposing your body to, your testis is basically going to come down and it comes down because primarily the datos muscle is relaxing and what's going to happen is there's going to be the datos muscle relaxes the testis comes down there's more surface area in the scrotum to expel the excess heat so the testis comes down primarily primarily to get rid of excess heat and bring back the temperature to one or three one one to three degrees Celsius lower than the core body temperature that's thermoregulation, right? So at lower temperatures, there's better sperm production. So the temperature of the scrotum should be less than the core body temperature. So it comes down to get rid of excess heat and so that there's larger surface area to allow heat dissipation. Now what happens, for example, if you're in a, you're, you know, you're in a cold climate, you've been, say you've been to Switzerland, you're playing with ice and you're, you know, you're freezing and you're you know, kind of really cold. What basically happens here is this, the datos muscle basically contracts the cremaster muscle is another muscle that also contracts and the testis goes up and it goes close to the body and the reason it goes close to the body again is a thermoregulatory mechanism and this is because you don't want the testis to be very cold or because some other functions may get shut down and here again the whole idea is to maintain that the whole idea here is to maintain and regulate the temperature range that is 1 to 3 degrees Celsius lesser than the core body temperature. So in colder climates the testis is going to go up maintain its temperature in warmer climates the testis is going to come down and that's also to ultimately maintain the temperature so this is the reason why the testis goes up and down it's a completely physiological process it's a thermoregulatory mechanism so don't don't be don't don't be alarmed if you see your testis going up and if you see your testis coming down it's not a pathological process so please please stay calm please stay relaxed i'll make another i'll make another separate video on certain lifestyle habits that you can avoid, you know, in order to, uh, you know, better improve your thermoregulatory mechanism, uh, you know, in your test. So I'll make a separate video on that. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah.
वेलकम धन नमस्ते